Hey guys, this is Shumon from AAC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix laptop's touchpad not working issue. There are several reasons that could cause this to happen. It could be because of when touchpad button is disabled. Some laptops have either a button above or around the laptop or an function combo key to control the touchpad. Sometimes a USB input device as like mouse and PlayStation 2 may be responsible for touchpad deactivation. And also it can be appeared much more rarely caused by Windows update components when it needs to be repaired. Whatever the issues, don't worry about it. By following this instruction in this video, you can easily get the solution of this problem. Well, let's get started. At first check either a button above or around the laptop or an function combo key to enable and disable the touchpad. As you can see, in my case, function plus F7 combination have given to enable and disable the touchpad. If your laptop has this feature, then just press the button or function combo key to turn the touchpad on. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. Yeah, done, as you can see. Now let's go to the second method. Alright, in order to fix this issue, you should have a wired mouse or wireless mouse. Alright, at first connect your wired or wireless mouse with your laptop. Next click on notification icon. Next click on all settings. Next click on devices. Next click on touchpad. And then just enable it from here, as you can see. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If you think that touchpad not working problem due to a misconfigured settings, then just scroll down and reset your touchpad settings from here as you can see. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. If you think that touchpad is not working problem due to old version of touchpad driver, then just connect your OID or wireless mouse with your laptop. After that just follow me. At first connect your laptop with the internet connection. Next go to control panel. Then go to device manager. Next explain the mice and other pointing devices directory. Then just select your touchpad driver. And then click on update device driver. Next just click on search automatically for updated driver software as you can see. Then you should see downloading the necessary device driver software. Be patient for a while, do nothing until Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Yeah done, as you can see. Alright, now just restart once. If you are lucky, then this simple method may solve your problem. Yeah done, as you can see. If not solved after restarting, then just connect your wired or wireless mouse with your laptop. And just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del combination. And then click on Tux Manager. Then click on Setup option. Then just select the touchpad apps from here and right click on it. 
and just click on enable if disabled. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If not still solved your problem, then just follow me. Now just restart your laptop and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key. Next go to main tab and find touchpad settings. If your laptop's BIOS has this feature, then just enable the touchpad from here. Alright, now just press F10 key on the keyboard or go to exit menu and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. If you are lucky then this simple method may solve your problem. Yeah, done as you can see. If this all methods not working for you, then insert the driver's installation CD, DVD, or USB flash drive which was given to you when you bought your laptop. Now just install the touchpad driver software from that, after that hopefully your problem will be solved. We are done as you can see. If not still solve your problem then just follow me. At first connect your laptop with the internet connection. Next open the browser and then go to your laptop's manufacturer website to download the certain driver software for your laptop's touchpad. If you have an Acer laptop then just follow me to downloading the certain driver software from manufacturer website. Alright next go to support and click on drivers and manuals. Next select your device from here as you can see. Next click on driver.
then just download the touchpad driver software from here. As you can see, here have been given vendor information. Alright, I am just downloading this to certain touchpad driver software. At first, let me move this to desktop. Next, I'm just extract it. Next, open the folder that you have got after extracting. Next, find the setup.exe file as you can see. Once you found, just double click on it to install touchpad driver software manually. Next, check on this box to accept this agreement. Now, click on next. Yeah, done as you can see. Next click on finish. Alright, now just install the second one by following same procedure. Alright, now just restart once. If you are lucky, then this simple method may solve your problem. You are done as you can see. Now let's go to the advanced method. Alright, next open the touchpad driver folder that you have got from manufacturer website. Next open the touchpad driver folder according to your PC system 64 bit or 32 bit. I just opened the 64 bit folder according to my PC system as you can see. Next just copy the full path of this file or folder as you can see. Next go to control panel. Next click on device manager. Next explain the mice and other pointing devices directory. Then select your touchpad driver and just right click on it. Then click on update driver. Next choose the option browse my computer for driver software. Then select the option let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Alright then click on have disk. Next, paste here the full path of those file or folder which was copied as you can see. Next click on OK. Next select the manufacturer and model of your hardware device. Then click on Next. And click on Yes. Alright, as you can see status shows that Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Then click on Close. Alright, now just restart once. If you are lucky, then this simple method may solve your problem. Yeah, done. As you can see. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.